you till the sun burns out. Love you till the sun burns out. Hi, I'm Sabelle, and this is Till the Sun Burns Out for Here, Here, and Here. I walked you to your door a hundred nights before, and I walk you to the end of the world. Cause if falling into love is heaven's wonder drug I'm addicted and only you can fix me good I'm gonna love you till the sun burns out Love you till the sun burns out And I'll chase away your clouds Love you till the sun burns out I wanna hold you till the moon shuts down My voice singing every song only for your ears. I'm gonna love it till the sun burns out. Love it till the sun burns out. And not say it's the way you close. Love it till the sun burns out. I wanna hold it till the moon shuts down. Till the stars are on the ground. Hi, my name is Sabelle, and uh, this is an interview for Here, Here, and Here. I started right out of high school. Um, I graduated a long time ago, 2002, and uh, started doing music right out of that. And uh, it took a long time just kind of finding my sound, finding uh, my way as an artist. I've been an independent artist for, for the last 12 years. Um, but uh, yeah, that's kind of how I started and just kept refining and just developing as a, as a creative. 
I think the most exciting part about doing music is there's not really any like roadmap. You know, there's certain things that you do that you, know, you play shows, you write songs, you perform, uh, you interact with fans online. No, there's the, those things are all kind of a given, but you can re never really know how it's going to end up. So you know, it, it, it can literally be uh, the most boring week ever, and then a phone call happens that could change your life. You know, the next week, and so there's that emotional roller coaster that always keeps you kind of hanging on, wondering what's going to happen next. So I think that's the most exciting part for me. I think that um, the obvious difference is that people can actually Google my name now, before they couldn't, because there's a lot of consonants in it. Uh, it's the, my Ukrainian ancestors, they liked consonants. Um, but I think the most, the biggest difference for me is I feel like the Sibel project, and you know, even me as a person, it's just a, it's a different time of my life. Greg Sibel was, you know, this kid from a small town making songs, just kind of trying things, uh, and uh, I feel like Sibel is that arrival. I feel like I've kind of like discovered like the sound, discovered who I am as an artist, who I am as a person, and uh, so it's just a, it's yeah, it's. It's, it's still me, but it's kind of where I'm at now. You know, Greg Sabel was, was a 17-year-old kid with a dream to make music, and uh, I kind of just chased that for a while, so. Um, Till the Sun Burns Out, the, the latest single, uh, was pretty much a two-year process. Like, I, I wrote that song and kind of start to finish. From writing it was about two years of just like producing it and re mixing it and remixing it and uh, working with you know guys in Nashville and New York and Vancouver and uh, we had Davey Baduke who did uh, Closer Remix for Tegan and Sarah and Live in the City for Dragonette. Um, you know he, he took the original version of Sunburns Out and made it the radio mix that everybody knows now. So it was a long process um, and I feel like that you know that was that, that song is a really great starting point. Um, it was, I was very invested in that, but probably one of my most favorite songs is, is uh, the song Promised Land, which is, is, I think we're gonna release that to radio soon. So, so that, one's, that one for me was a really, a really fun one to make. It was, yeah, it was exciting. Hmm. <laughs> the first thing that I look for um, I look for the menu, and I look to see what they have on the menu. I feel like if they have a flat white or a cortado, then it's like it's a sign that it's this is a really good coffee shop. I don't know. That's I love flat whites. So what is that? Um, flat white is like it's like a. If I understand this correctly, now all the baristas watching are gonna like you know, yeah, they're gonna be like he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, a flat white is like it's really popular in Australia, and it's. Um, it's like a latte, but it's it's more diluted, stronger, and it's less foam. It's like a it's like a finer kind of steam, yeah. So or a finer froth. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Okay. Intoxicating. <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> Memory. Can I say that? <laughs> Memory. Is that what you said? Um, sorry. Memory, as in what? <laughs> Memory. It's like a memory. It's um, the that comes to your mind. <laughs> uh, hard drives. I work with them all the time. So. Art. <laughs> art? Yeah, art. Um, art. That's a great one. Andy Warhol. Like. Green plants. Overcast. Toronto, right now.